I'm going to show you something really neat here working with SEMS UV Cured Headlight Restoration System. This is really neat. We're going to make this lens look really good with all that yellow. Now if you need to use a power tool you can use this one or if you have a compressor you can use this air power tool which is a really nice mini tool. Now SEM recommends starting the job by cleaning with SEM soap, scrubbing it with a gray pad and rinsing off with warm water and then we follow that up with the plastic leather prep. So those are the two items to use when you start the job. Now we're going to use these four micron sanding discs. We have 9 grade, 15 grade, 30 grade and 60 grade. Now we're going to of course go from aggressive to less aggressive. And as I hook up my tool here, and I'm going to put on the most aggressive here to demonstrate the 60 micron sanding disc. Now, if the damage or it's not that yellow your lens, of course, you can start with one of the other discs. But depending on where you start, you want to go from that disc onto the next one and the next one to go through the process. So here I'm sanding and my main purpose is to get rid of that original UV coating. I want to get the factory coating off there so I can apply my coating on there to replace it. That's the main purpose of this to make this lens look good. Okay now you can blow off the uh, dust and then follow up with the plastic leather prep spray some on there and wipe it off and you're going to go to your next, next disc. Alright so now I'm going to take off the 60 and put on the 30 micron sanding disc. Now you would have to work hard to scratch this or anything. That's why we use these special sanding discs so that uh, you're not going to have any trouble whatsoever. You're, going, you're just going to keep on improving this as you go through the process. Now I'm switching. I'm taking off the 30 micron disc and I'm putting on the 15 now. Okay, and of course I'm slowly removing that entire original coating. Now I've compressed this. Uh, I actually sanded maybe 30, 40, 50, 60 seconds depending on how bad it was. Okay, so uh, I'm not going to make you st stand here and watch me do all of that. So I just compress these. And now I'm on the last one, the 9 micron sanding disc. Okay, and uh, once we're done with this process, we're going to, of course, clean it again. And depending on where we're working, if there's dust in the air or things like that, I'm going to use my plastic leather prep and then just like a good body shop man or, or whatever, I'm going to also add on one other thing that we incorporated into this system and these are these nice wipes. Okay, we like to use these as a final step before we start applying the new coating. We're going to wipe off that lens with these special wipes and that just gets rid of any dust, uh, whatever, so that we, so it's really prepared to accept this. Okay, now I shake up my can and I use this UV coating, uh, the solar ray stuff, and I'm going to spray a light coat on. Now, experience again is going to t teach you how much to apply. You don't apply very much at all. It doesn't take much to do this, all right? And then we're going to allow two minutes flash time. Now, we're here in a state where it's always wet, damp, and I'm working here inside where there's absolutely no air moving. So to allow the uh, solvents to flash, we like to use a heat gun. This is very optional. Okay, my heat is set at about 160 degrees, so I'm not looking for heat. I'm looking more for air movement there. Okay, so we allowed two minutes, and now we spray it on our last coat. And again, here you're going to wait about five minutes. If you're not using heat gun, if you're working outside and you don't have to do that, you just uh, wait there for about five minutes, and then we're going to pick up our UV special light here. Now there's a ballast that you, you have this plugged in, and you turn it on, and as long as you're working with the light, you're not going to turn it off because if you turn it off, it's going to take a few minutes for that ballast to rejuvenate and allow the light to come back on. So just be aware of that. This has about a four to five inch footprint. So it's, we have to hold the light over everything that we want to cure. So if you have a larger light, you're going to have to go in steps. And of course, you're going to be smart enough to charge more if it's going to take you longer to do. Now let's just look at this. That was our uh, flash time was up. We held the UV light for about two minutes. And now as I take this tape off, I'm going to move it to different angles so you can see how really cleared up this became. And it's great. We have that original UV coating on. As I switch it here and turn it, you're going to see how clear it really looks. So a fantastic job with the Solar Ray UV system.